Advent of Code has started again, and we're on a quest to collect 50 stars. Welcome to Programming Problems, Episode 17, where we get put in a trebuchet. Let's get started. The elves noticed that something is wrong with global snow production, and we've been selected to take a look. As we get loaded into a trebuchet, the elves discover that the calibration instructions are encoded. Every line presented to us contains a specific calibration value in the form of a two-digit number. Specifically, it is the combination of the first and last digit in the line. Given a list of lines, what is the sum of all calibration values? Let's take a look at the examples. In the first example, we see that the digits are at the outer ends of the line, making for a calibration value of 12. In the second example, the numbers 3 and 8 are hiding somewhere near the center. The value is 38. In the next example, we clearly see that we only take the leftmost and rightmost numbers for a value of 15. Lastly, in this example with only a single digit, the digit gets repeated for a calibration value of 77. From the problem statement, we know that every line has a leftmost and a rightmost number. The calibration value then is simply 10 times the leftmost number plus the rightmost number. After finding all values from all the lines, we simply have to sum them up to a total. Below here, you find the high-level structure of code that can solve this problem. Let's take a look at those functions in more detail. First off, we can take a look at getting the leftmost number. It takes in a string and returns an integer. Here, we simply loop over the string from left to right, and the first character that we encounter, which is not in the alphabet, is the value we should return. For part one of today's problem, getting the rightmost number is almost identical to getting the leftmost number. We simply iterate over the reversed string. In today's part two, we learn that our calculations are all wrong. It appears that some of the numbers are spelled out completely, giving us the following digits to also be counted as valid in their written out form. If we take this into consideration, what is the sum of all the calibration values this time? In this first example, we find that the leftmost number that we see first is 1, and the rightmost number is 3. Both are fully spelled out, and the expected calibration value here is 13. In this second example, we have a combination of a spelled out digit and an actual digit. Together, they form 14. Based on part one and these examples, do you see how you can modify your code to solve part two? Let's dive into the solution. What the problem statement asks of us is not much different than for part one, it's just that the definition of what is the leftmost or rightmost number is changed. So let's use the same approach and functions as for part one, but let's expand them. For convenience, I suggest making a list called numbers, which holds all the written out digits. Note that I add a dot as element number zero, because then indexing the string four actually returns the number four, which is convenient later on. Now for getting the leftmost number, we not only loop over the characters of the string, but we also want to keep track of the index i. First, we can check if the current character is in the alphabet, because if it isn't, then we already have our answer. Suppose, however, that it is, then we need to check if the substring, starting at our current index, is prefixed with any of the spelled out numbers in the numbers list defined at the top. If we actually find such a prefix, then we can benefit from the index method to return our digit as an integer. Getting the rightmost number is almost the same, but remember that we need to process our string from right to left. The key difference, then, is that we enumerate the reversed string. Note here that the index i will still start at zero, so we will have to index at negative i plus one to make sure that we start checking substrings from the end of the string itself. And that's it already. We have the first two stars in the bag. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to follow along as we tackle this year's advent of code together.